Hey guys, it's fall. Um, well, I can tell it's fall, deep fall, because my team is struggling to make the playoffs. Um, they play on Monday Night Football. I hope you're having a great fall, and I hope your football team is doing better than mine. Um, we're in the holiday season, and fall is coming to an end right now. But what I want to show you guys is something to, um, to you know, we, a lot of recipes, especially for the holiday season and fall, call for, call, uh, for canned pumpkin. And remember, anything canned is processed and it's gonna taste different from fresh. So what I'm gonna show you guys is something that I like to do um, to replace canned pumpkin. And you do notice a difference with everything fresh. So I'm gonna show you how I puree the pumpkin and I prepare it for recipes. That way there, any time of the year, you take it out of the freezer, you can use fresh pumpkin instead of using the can. And it does make a difference. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so we're going to show you guys how you can replace your canned pumpkin. And I'm not saying is there necessarily anything wrong with canned pumpkin. Um, but if you want that really fresh, made from scratch pumpkin pie and other recipes, I'm going to show you how to replace the canned pumpkin with real pumpkin or fresh pumpkin. So we got a nice, good sized pumpkin right here. And I think what we're going to do now is we're going to, we're going to wash it, dry it, and uh, we're gonna clean it out. Yeah, once it's clean, we can go ahead and towel it off. And the next step is we're gonna, we're gonna clean it out. Put the uh, we're gonna put this aside. We're gonna take out the seeds. Yeah, we make sure we get all the seeds out. Yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a large pot. What we're going to do is we're actually going to cut the pumpkin, we're going to remove the peel, and we're going to chop it up. And that's going to go into the pot. So let me show you. Let's start with the top piece. Let me show you. It's, uh, it's kind of like cantaloupe, but it's a little... A little more dense than, than cantaloupe is, and we put the pieces into the pot. And what I do is I slice sections off the pumpkin. And it kind of breaks off. And it's easier to manage like this. And then I do it in chunks.
Okay, so as you can see, this is a pretty good sized pot. And the pumpkin, it was a pretty big pumpkin. And we got just about, oh, I can't even begin to see how many cups we're gonna get out of this, but it filled the pot almost all the way up. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna put some salt. And the salt is gonna bring out the flavor of the pumpkin and now we're gonna fill it with water. So, once we get the water in, we get the salt in, we're not gonna flash cook this. This isn't going to be something that's done really quick. Um, I'm actually gonna put the lid on, and this'll take, well, this'll take a couple hours anyway, because I'm gonna put it on like a, a low setting, like the low end of low medium. So, I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's cooked. Okay, so it's, been boiling for a couple of hours now on low heat and what we want to check for is we want to make sure that it's actually getting fork tender and one way I like to tell is if you can you can see how the pumpkin is actually very soft so that's ready so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drain the water out but then we're going to leave it here and we're going to let the water evaporate. Yeah. Now you can see the steam coming up. We're going to let it, much of it evaporate as possible. And we're going to let this totally cool down. And then I'll show you what we do. Okay, so it has some time to cool. And what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use a potato masher, and we're gonna kind of mash it up. There might be a little bit of water. So you wanna get rid of as much water as possible so I like to use a ladle and kind of drain out the water or the liquid. And what's left is pumpkin puree. And you can use it for pies, recipes, anything that you really want to. So this is how you replace canned pumpkin with fresh pumpkin. And what I like to do is put it in a couple of freezer bags, maybe three or four spoonfuls, put it in a freezer. That way you can have pumpkin throughout the year.